makes it really clear that you're not really the good guys because when you when you kill for example when you do like a crew kill on the slaver ship you're like hey i'm gonna release all these slaves and then you proceed to take one of the people and you're like hey you're still a slave you're just working for me now <laughs> so I'm, I'm not i'm not convinced <laughs> that the uh that the federation are the good guys here uh yeah it's rock time baby it's only like one event that humans are good at too so I'm saving all this scrap. Maybe I shouldn't be. We will never surrender one of our crew to slavers based. A who man treat. Mm. Uh, that's true. The, the mantis is all excited to kill uh, to to kill rebels, I guess. Okay, let's see. They do have an Engi on board, but I bet you I can get a crew kill anyway if I use a couple of these guys. I had actually, I had forgotten that we had level 2 sensors just starting out. Kind of comical. Oh, wait, they have, uh, I'm dumb. They have a uh, missile. I can't do this. Totally blind. Okay. Also, they have two levels of shields. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Okay, we're going to need to use the breach. They they have high evasion. That was two misses in a row. Either they have high evasion or that was just some bad luck. Yeah, I got too excited. I didn't even see the... Um, the missile is the thing. And now we're going to take some damage. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> oh man all right because i'm happy i have cloaking so every single shot we've taken has missed 100 percent missed chance there we go there we go baby bro did you did you just beam an ingi on my ship breh breh Also, I should have turned off that breach missile sooner. Level 20 engines? Apparently so. I was really hoping to start a fire there. That does less physical damage than I thought it did. Here's a good question for someone who knows more about this game than me. If I damage a system while it's being repaired, does it reset the repairs? I'm gonna guess no. So it actually is um, my original thing where I was like waiting. Uh, it actually is optimal. It does damage the crew, yeah. Um, but it's just it's just interesting because I thought it was I thought it was optimal from the very beginning to wait for it to break and then hey we actually did this. <laughs> I might be able to force a crew kill here. This guy's almost dead already. Just by targeting the rooms with the dudes in them. He he dodged that by walking into that room that I didn't want to hit. It's good that there's a fire there. Okay. We surrender, take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. Um... I would get my pick of bros if I was able to do a crew kill, which I really don't think is going to happen. Then again, this laser is going to kill one of those guys, and there's a fire. So, tempting. However, I would just get my pick of, like, a rockman, a mantis, and an Engi. Can crew kill? It's all down to how many bombs you want to spend. Um... Do you get do you get scrap? I guess you do if you do a crew kill. 
And there's not, yeah, he's, uh, All-Star's actually right, it's not guaranteed that you get your pick of dudes. The question is, can I get a crew kill here is the thing. They, they have only three HP left, and I, I think that's going to become two HP. It's done one damage there and one damage there, and it's going to do another damage as it hits this spot. Just bomb the crew. All right. Bomb deals no system damage. Bomb deals system damage. It does three system damage, which can do one hull damage. But yeah, I see what you're saying. One more bomb should be enough, because he has 28 HP. Does no hull damage. Won't it, won't it do one hull damage if it breaks the system? Which is, you know, we have that wiggle room, I suppose. Haha! <laughs> bomb, no bomb ever does hull damage. That's fire punching. Interesting. So, this is really interesting. We're, we're in a uh, pirate sector right now. Should we take the Mantis or the Engi? I'm, I'm leaning towards the Engi, believe it or not, since it's not like we have teleporting or anything yet. Engi for the blue options. That's what I was thinking. It seems like people really value Engi for the different things. Oh, it's Dolan. It's Dolan Duck. And he's got piloting skill. He's already almost as good as my existing pilot. First Engi is very important. See, these little rules of thumb are really, really handy to know, so I appreciate you sharing those with me. I think that establishing rules of thumb is one of the most important, uh, most important things that you can do in games like this. Little rules that you can follow for yourself. Switch Engi and Rock, yeah, probably. So the Rock can actually go places. Slowly. <laughs> right, yeah, because he's not going to want to come out and play unless he's trying to repair. Would anybody like to be the Yengi? Dolan Duck over here. Craig Dolan. Might want to level doors once so Rockman is free to move. Well, now Rockman's not there anymore, so that's cool. I do agree that upgrading doors is kind of cool, but... Uh, I'm trying to save my money. This is hard mode. No shops, though, huh? I mean, we're doing pretty well without spending money, so my 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 instinct is to just sort of chill uh, with the cash and wait until we find a shop and see if maybe we can get hacking or something, and maybe a really good weapon for the end game. On the other hand, we have all this crap to sell, so um, maybe getting a couple of weapons wouldn't wouldn't be terrible. Or getting like a single cloak upgrade would be kind of cool. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that because that that gives us 10 seconds of cloaking, which basically um, sweep the sector. You have time to jump basically everywhere. Uh, to reveal everywhere, pretty much. Yeah, I could go here, here, here. Yeah, and then. Well, the problem is that these two things aren't connected, so I'd have to go here, here, here. And then sort of down like this. I don't think I have time to do all that, I'm pretty sure. But we can at least get all this crap revealed. These things are going to be taken over by rebels, though. So, distress, and then two ships. Here, here. Kind of eyeballing where the rebels will be. Here. The problem is, after this, I would have to go down here. <laughs> I don't think I have that many chumps in me. Uh, I guess I could do like a kind of a box shape and get more jumps and then I'll eyeball it further from there. It's always best to cut the ship out, I think, if you have a beam weapon. Okay, there is a store. Alrighty then. Pulsar. I don't particularly want to fight at a Pulsar, but I do want to get that jump in so I can hit that, hit the store, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this. One, and I'm there. Two, and I'm there. Three. I don't think I can do that. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go like, do, 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 do. It's gonna have to be a straight shot, I think. I could do a nice triangle shaped loop at the exit in nearby systems. I would, yeah, I mean, I suppose maybe I could afford to jump and then jump back, which is 
always unpleasant, but it is what it is, you know? Pulse our time, baby. Just two guys on the ship. Uh, hey. This should be okay. Well, it is a nasty ship. I guess they can cut through my shields with the ions, and this is... Wait a minute, is that a level 3? With the 5 shots? Yeah, okay. I, For some reason, I thought that was only a 3 shot, which still would be kind of brutal. And I'm in a pulsar, yeah. I was hoping that would just turn off their weapons, but... Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's breach. Let's breach their weapons. Can I cloak through a pulsar? Haha, <laughs> I can. Wait, no, I can't. That got my shields. <laughs> we managed to kill the oxygen in that room, I guess. <laughs> Please don't kill us, we'll give you everything we have. Nope. I am being a bit greedy here. Their O2 might have been pulsar. I, I didn't see that if that is the case. Um, you know, actually, right now, if they're both in the same room, I could breach them and kill them. I don't think that's going to happen, though, because by the time they're done... Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. We got it. We got the crew kill. It's going to happen. It's going to happen, baby. <laughs> All right. There we go. Pretty cool to get a crew kill just with conventional weaponry. The power of fire. Okay, um, so mind control's available. Which, uh, in advanced mode is pretty good, I think. Because, um, well, I guess it only exists in advanced mode, but what I'm saying is the, the flagship always, um... Yeah, maybe sober, sir. Um, the, the mind control, uh, basically the flagship always has it so you can turn it off in the third. Yeah, the rock sector music is pretty good. Combat drone mark out, mark one for the drone. Uh, what's on page two? Got the combat drone, boarding drone. Another guy named Craig Dolan. It's the most, uh, popular name in this galaxy, really. Fire drone. The coolest drone, but also the most useless. Alrighty, well, let's, uh, sell the repair burst. Boom. Sell the heavy laser. Boom. Uh, probably sell the burst laser. Halberd's amazing. We'll, we'll probably pick that up, yeah. Um, I gotta sell the burst laser. I can't, I can't bring myself to use it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Halberd's definitely going to be a purchase. That's endgame material right there. As long as we can break through their shields, this is probably the best beam that there is in terms of power for, for damage. As far as the rest of this, this is kind of tough. I do think that I get some repairs, at least a 20. Um, probably get some fuel and missiles. Specifically on a 3 wound slot ship, ship, yeah, for sure. Huh. I know, I'm really tempted to get the mind control. I, I I always find myself disappointed in it outside of the flagship because um you can't you can't do it um to the automated ships. I'm gonna get it though because I, I might not have another chance to get something good. How do people value backup battery in hard mode? I feel like it's a borderline um necessity to have a really, really, really smooth run. 
Yeah, no, you got a point, Polestar. Backup battery is great. That's what I was thinking. I mean, I've I've always really loved having it. Oh, I didn't know it worked like that. All star, is that really how that works? It shows up in the. It won't. It won't show up again if you already have it. How did I not notice that after all these runs? I played a lot of uh, well, some some normal runs on this game, and uh, huh, that's wild. Okay, so mini beam. Tempted to sell and wear the halberd beam, but we don't, we don't have the money to upgrade into actually being able to use it. Um, on the other hand, if I did upgrade, which I should, at least once, I could simply use the dual lasers and the bleach, the the breach bomb. Hey, prepaid, what's up, buddy? Welcome to the hard mode stream. I think that we sell the mini beam. Yeah, I think we sell the mini beam, and we just live with having to use dual lasers and, and breach for, for the win for the moment. Because we'll be able to do it. We have the power to do it. You don't think I can? Check it out. If I if I were to sell the mini beam right now, I get 10, right? So I go to 37 gold. I then um, purchase uh, weapon control, and then I can dual laser and breach at the same time. I can't dual laser and halberd beam, but I will be able to after like a single ship fight. I could just turn off my cloak or something, you know? I've got 12 missiles of wiggle room, and we're getting a whole lot of crew kills, so... I really need to dual halberd before I get rid of the beam. That's what I'm saying, uh, prepaid. I'm saying I can dual breach now. Uh, well, okay, so the reason... Oh, you're right, I don't need to upgrade again. Oh, I'm, I'm completely blind. No, if I upgrade, I can dual halberd. Yeah, one, and then one... Hey guys, it turns out one plus three is four. <laughs> Mini beam is nice because it sets fires. Oh, I, I agree, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, I was just miscounting by one. I agree Mini beam's good, but it's uh, it's only required power is one. And uh, I only have three slots is the thing, so I, I really need to... I mean, if I'm going to pick a weapon, it's got to be... Uh, between the two, it's got to be Albert Beam, you know, as much as I like starting fires. Um, and then I'm going to need things to cut through shields. The ship is not very good at cutting through shields right now, uh, unless I want to use my Breach Bomb to do it. If I had a fourth slot, there's no question I would keep the Mini Beam, but I, I don't think I can keep it for the time being. Okay. Yeah, I can power... I mean, I'm just... I got the battery so we're good I can just shut off some other stuff I mean what I can do is I can just do this uh, I've got a lot of superfluous crap here I can turn off the oxygen turn on the engines I can power the battery and use that to pop on the cloak we're, we're good on power it looks like we're bad on it but because of the battery we're good on it all right do we have the jumps or have I screwed myself um, too bad you can't get mini beam on a four slot ship yeah absolutely That'd be pretty cool. Um, if I go here, I'm good. If I go here, I'm good. I can actually do these three. One, two. All right, I'm gonna trust you. I'm not convinced. I think it's gonna be close, but maybe not. Double flak, double mini beam. <laughs> that would be pretty sick, man. I think the ultimate overpowered build would involve uh, abusing pre-igniter with uh, four weapons that are that are power four <laughs> or something. Easy fight, easy life. Well, with the cloak, uh, go, doing um, dealing with ASB with cloak is a lot cleaner. Anyway, this ship does not have any shields, so we are just going to ruin their whole day. Oh, he has a cloak. What's up, buddy? Aha, joke's on you, bruh. 
I mean, pre-igniter in general is just really powerful, you know? God, the halberd beam's damage is outrageous. What is that, two damage per? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I would say pre-igniter is win more. Uh, I, it's, it's definitely... It definitely can qualify as that, but... Right, yeah, it is kind of hard to buy. Okay, this, uh, we can still halberd beam through these shields somewhat. There is a combat drone, which... Is that a level 2 combat drone? I sure hope not. Uh, oh, long range, long range systems is easily the best augment for price uh, versus what it does. It's crazy. Okay, so the level 2 can... Uh, this is hard. This is, this is actually my second attempt. I guess technically my third attempt on hard. Um, okay, so single shot, single shot, and then super move. Uh, super, super, uh, super drone. You know, I totally agree that the halberd beam goes on the front. I, I think we're going to have to burn cloak soon. I'm not going to bother with breach bomb here. Um, let's just chill out, watch our shields go down, and then see how quickly we can regen them. Wait a minute, do I not have a guy on shields? What the hell? Bro, what am I doing? Versaire should have been on shields this whole time. Not on sensors. Or Enish, rather. I can't believe... <laughs> how did that happen? I think it's because the ship doesn't start with shields and I just uh, blanked out on it, I guess. That's bizarre. Why's that guy indoors? Well, he doesn't uh, need to be for this particular fight, but um, it would be handy in other fights. Manning sensors is more important. <laughs> hey, I need I need those level three sensors, bro. I gotta I gotta watch their weapons charge. Okay, uh, let's fire and then let's cloak. Nice. He's the ship's DJ, hell yeah. It's it's important for the uh, Ingi to be in the door room, bro. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to cut down their shields a bit. Good. And then we'll do this. Nice, okay, we're good. No need to be concerned. We have won the fight. Hengi, your lovers, not fighters. How are they at uh, pressing the recharge shield button? Hmm. I don't know if I believe it. I think they want to get their nanites inside me. And turn me into more nanites. I don't, uh, I don't trust... I don't trust the Ingi. I'm gonna get a little more power. Okay, wow, I was off by a lot. I guess, uh, I guess my boomer eyes have failed me yet again. But that's a good thing in this case. Okay, fake refugee ship. They can shred me for the most part. Save money for hacking. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um... I'm being a little greedy right now because we're trying to stabilize after all those big purchases. Could I get a crew kill here? Um, two damage, two damage. I don't think so. Um, that is, no, that's a three shot actually. Yeah, it's a BL2. It's the, it's the best weapon in the game, bro. It's only five projectiles if they if they plan things out properly. We do have uh, mind control, by the way. Sure. So I could get more damage. I, I could blow up the ship right now, really, to... Four, uh, six, put it to one HP. But, um, I don't know. Maybe I should go for a crew kill. They only have these two guys. 
frankly, if I if I throw out a breach bomb like right now, they would both be almost dead already. Tempting. Don't go for crew kill. I'm so greedy. Like this game really, this game really pulls out my greed. <laughs> How much? Uh, what do we get? 15 damage per hit to crew. Halberd does 30 crew damage. Oh, that's interesting. So what's stopping me from just like? Don't oh don't blow up the ship. Go for crew kill. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll do this. Still have to break the clone bay. Yeah, that's fine. It just takes one breach bomb, really. Okay, if I just... If I just... Hold on. If I just dual laser this thing, we can probably break it. Depends on how much power it has, I guess. Let's, let's, let's breach bomb the... Uh, the clone bay. Okay, one mind control will kill one of these guys, and then one more laser will, um... Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. As long as that thing doesn't get repaired, we're good, basically. Maybe I should... Let's see, he's gonna suicide on this, basically. I think. We only have one more HP of damage, so I need to be careful. Then again, I can just, I can just blow missiles if need be. Um, yeah, let's do this. Just kidding. He'll leave? I guess he will. Okay. Take that mind control. Really should not have been hitting O2. Yeah, I, I, you're right. 100%. It's the Bitcoin evangelist. I'm doing okay. Bitcoin's also doing okay. How you doing, buddy? Ah, we got him. We're getting lots of uh, janky crew kills in this game. Have you played FTL Tested Zergling? He had 10 HP. Nice. That's almost enough for hacking. I hope you're holding some Bitcoin. How you liking this bull run, man? What are we up to right now? 34,000? 34, 34,000 a coin, something like that? Oh, you have 800 hours in FTL. 35k tonight. Oh, based. New all-time high. It's crazy, man. Hey, that's pretty cheap for a Zoltan. I don't think I want to spend the scrap for it. Uh, I am of the understanding that the meta of this game and just general good strategy is generally not to spend scrap on... Um, on crew members because because the game seems to offer you like a billion crew uh, for free. It is it is really tempting when I see a Zoltan though. Zoltan usually costs sixty from what I understand, um, and it's kind it's kind of like buying a janky engine upgrade. You know, you gambled all your Bitcoin away. I know that feel. The Zoltan is tempting here because he's so cheap. Forty three for you get a crew member and and a piece of energy. Um, and if you get two of them, you can be uh, sort of semi-immune to, to ions uh, in your shield room. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to hire anyone. I need money. This is hard mode, man. Two Zoltan bypass ionization. Yeah. He goes to sector A with two shields and wins easily. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's not me yet. We're going to save our money. Um... I wish we could hit up one of these ships and come back, but definitely not. Oh no, we should have taken the Zoltan, bro. We're going into Zoltan-controlled space. All these good events, bro. Actually, I don't know if there's any uh, good events for having a Zoltan. I assume there are. It's not like the Ingi in the Ingi space. There are no real great Zoltan events. I mean, I hate Zoltan sectors because it has that one stupid event that can just erase one of your guys. Um, and even the clone bay doesn't help. Okay. Um, combat drone level 1. You can tell because it doesn't have the little wingy things on the sides. Um, laser, laser, one shot, one shot. Um, oh, you don't know about the event? Uh, yeah, I'm talking about the eye. You can choose not to go in. 
No, no, I'm not. I didn't. I didn't mean like it's not the player's choice. I mean that once you're once you choose it, you're there's a chance that it happens. That it's kind of like it's kind of like the um, the giant spiders thing where it feels like there's a 99% chance to kill your guy. <laughs> Um, except the rewards for the, the eye event, if you get the good option, are really quite good. Um, just like free weapons and stuff. Anyway, yeah, um, laser, laser, combat drone. Technically, uh, I am not immune to damage here. However, I think I could go for a crew kill and probably be okay if I... Maybe, maybe I'll bust their weapons up a bit first and then... Oh yeah, pulsar. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I should probably just break the ship then. Oh, they have a, uh, haha, <laughs> they have a shield over charger. That's cute. Shouldn't dick around here. No, I agree, because bad luck could happen. Um, we're just gonna, we're gonna damage the ship, and then we're gonna use the mind control. Oh, my shields are completely down. Okay. Um, my shields got pulsart. My weapons are okay. Wow, this is a very bright screen. Hold on. Uh, my oxygen's pulsar, that's okay. They seem to be completely unaffected because they cheat. Seriously, what the fuck on their ship got hit? Nothing on their ship got hit? Look at this crap. What is going on, man? Their, their super shield's down, I guess. Is that is that really all that... Uh, oh, that's super lame. Okay. That's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna cloak and possibly have time to get our shields back. Let's, um... There's no reason to really fire. Let's just mind control real quick. Because otherwise I'm going to take a shitload of damage from all these weapons, man. From this this gentleman right here. Might want to MC the pilot. Uh, you know what? I should have done that to stop chance of, uh... Stop the chance of lasers missing. You're right. Well, yeah, the Zoltan ship itself seems, like, basically overpowered. Okay, didn't need to mind control the pilot. We actually managed to hit both. Um, let's do this. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Hit the weapons first. They'll go to repair that. I haven't played C yet. Can get engine also. Oh, really? Was Is it long enough? Holy shit, it is! Oh, man. Mistakes were made. Okay. That was not enough to damage this thing. Boo! Okay, send this guy up to repair. Dude, we are getting memed hard uh, by this pulsar. Like, really hard. Nothing I can do. Really, I can jump, I guess. Um, this is a really devastating jump, yeah. Oh, this is super lame. I just, I wish our cloak was online. Um, well, I didn't really dick around as the thing. I didn't go for the crew kill as much as I was considering it. This, the pulsar has taken down my shields every time. Is that guaranteed? Okay, their their shields are down too. We're gonna turn on the pulse, or we're gonna turn on the halberd beam, and try to charge that up throughout the cloak. As long as you have shields, it hits first. Very interesting. That's good to know. We have mind control again. Uh, we're gonna mind control the guy who's trying to repair their. Just kidding. Super shields block. <laughs> uh... Okay, please don't hit my weapons. Oh wait, their shields are back on. The pulsar didn't, uh... Fuck. That's really bad. Um... I guess I should have used the breach bomb. Then again, the stupid, uh, Zoltan shield is gonna block the pulsar. I guess I have to... I have to do this. No, if I... If I, if I wait for the pulsar, it's just gonna hit their greens. It's not gonna go to the real shields. It just kinda blocks everything. Um... At least that's what happened the first time. Is that not guaranteed? This hosted Zergling might very well be correct that the right thing to do was to jump here. 
Yeah, see, it just blocks it. Beams could hit the drone and knock it out. <laughs> That's true. This is probably a jump. Um, or I just bust out the breach bomb. Um, if we could just take the stupid drone offline, we'd be good to go, man. I'm gonna stick around. Just kidding. No, I'm gonna jump. Fuck this. <laughs> Thought we could maybe dodge, like, that one shot, but... Alright, so we're, we're hurt going into this, but... Uh... Let's see. Sunk cost fallacy hitting heart. Yeah, no question. Oh, I should have sold my Bitcoin, you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Same situation, really. You're not supposed to jump from a fight to a fight when running from a fight. Yeah, you're right. I should have gone into a, a non-encounter. Get a little sleepy, you guys. Uh, particularly, I should have known that from the fact that my ions are... My shields are ioned, you know? What's the price of Halberd Beam? Uh, 65. Oh, Beam Coin. Beam Coin's doing well. Alright, we have shields again. We have, um... We have Mind Control. Or, we have Mind Control and we have Cloak. These weapons are gonna be rough. Why do you say that? With two levels of shields, uh, we can almost just not take damage. Yeah, we're going to do that here in a second. Okay. Uh, actually, let's turn off the dual laser. Let's turn this off. Boom, boom. Uh, give me more power, please. Okay, there we go. I didn't quite do this right. I should have probably not even used the breach bomb. You didn't really want to breach. Yeah, you're you're right. Because now I have this shit to deal with. Because I don't have mind control right now. Then again, man, I don't know if I'm willing to spend a couple more breach bombs. We can get a we can get a crew kill here. Isn't that worth it? You can get one without the bombs. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking, actually. If I could just get two dual laser hits, man. It's okay, we've got Cloak if they fire in the right order. Yeah, I save my Cloaking for, for when I don't uh, miss one, basically, or when they line up properly. Okay. This is going to be a lot of damage, but it's going to... Yeah, I know you can fire it at one shields. Uh, actually, why wasn't I firing? I should have been firing, for sure. Okay, their O2 is destroyed. They will repair that. I'm surprised they're not fighting the, uh, the pilot. I am being a bit greedy. Powering FTL. Okay. There with the crew kill, yeah. Um, not sure why I halberd there. It's probably a mistake. I need to charge up faster, so I'm using the breach bomb, which charges, I believe, a little bit faster than the halberd beam. By like a second or two. Jump imminent. Uh, there's nothing I can do here, really. Did that just steal a missile from me and not actually go off? Oh, dude, I'm misplaying. Um, mm. Yeah, that whole fight was totally scuffed. Uh, yeah, I was trying to damage the crew with Halberd. I mean, I was trying to start fires, and then I remembered that uh, Halberd Beam doesn't do that. I got too used to the mini beam, perhaps.
Damaging crew with beams is tile-based, not room-based. You know, I think somebody told me that once and I forgot. That makes sense. It has to cut over them. I was kind of wondering why it wasn't hitting them in uh, one of the previous fights with the uh, mini-beam. Well, now I know that. Okay, 64. Um, gosh, I kind of want to be able to do all three of these at the same time, but it's not really necessary right now. Let's try to uh, unscuff this run. Okay, we got a Zoltan ship. They have the best weapon in the game. Oh shit, my doors are broken. <laughs> Can we have one fight without me making horrid mistakes? I also didn't heal my guys. Maybe I should take a break. Uh, let's see, what's the uptime on the stream? It doesn't feel like it's been that long, and yet... I'm making the kind of um, sleepy mistakes that I make when I've been streaming DCSS for like four hours. It's only two and a half. Hmm. I need to go. I might I might cut the stream in half to be honest. Um, anyway, with this fight, uh, technically they can break through my shields, although we'll probably they will miss a lot with the flak. Uh, we do have two levels of shields, though with the ion they'll they'll be able to cut through. Um, Halper beam will just erase this Zoltan shield. Hey, that's a raid. <laughs> well, thank you for the raid, uh, Chris Chris vs Backlog. I appreciate that, man. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Getting this hard run out of the backlog. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay, so we can't mind control through the shield. As I expected, I didn't take any damage for the um, first... Oh shit, they actually hit my weapons with the ion. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well in that case we'll just uh we'll just do this. Okay, so I'm actually gonna activate the um activate the breach bomb over the halberd here. We just crashed and burned against the flagship. That does tend to happen with the flagship. Unfortunately, you've caught me very uh, sleepy. I was actually thinking about ending the run, but uh, now that I've been raided, I think I might have to keep going. I've been misplaying like a madman, unfortunately. Okay, we got the Zoltan shield down. Um, I can breach bomb whenever I want. Once it's charged, anyway. Power up the... Engines, I might get some damage here. Nope. Good misses. Okay, we broke that. The shields are three, so we really uh, don't don't really have a choice here unless we want to hit them through with the halberd through one, one shield, which we can do, actually. Uh, let me mind control this guy. Something I should have done a little while ago. Keep them from repairing the breach. I should have done that faster. Okay, they have a guy in their pilot room, so we have to hit with both if we want this to do damage. Okay, we're good. Let's try to hit as many rooms as possible. We can hit four here. Don't give up. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement, for encouragement there. All right, so we're going to want to hit the pilot's room. Uh, and we can still hit four this way. This is not going to be a crew kill, probably. However, I can do this and totally break their weapons. Actually, it could be a crew kill if I'm willing to spend some some more missiles. Kind of an awkward setup here, but... We do so much damage to their crew with this breach bomb is the thing, and... These gentlemen really don't uh, have much in the way of HP due to being Zoltan, so... Uh, I think I'm willing to spend the two missiles to get the crew kill, you know. Plus, their uh, their weapons are broken forever because they don't have a med bay. Uh, and they don't have enough HP to go in there and repair that. So we can just relax for a second, basically. Uh, and we can we can do this... Uh, do this without spending more missiles, now that I think about it. 4 HP, 6 HP. We just gotta hit him with the halberd beam, that's all. I 
I just need to do two damage because this thing has two power, uh, two damage rather. So it'll bust through one point of shields. So this will kill him. Based. And then that guy walks into the no, uh, the no oxygen room and just dies. Didn't really expect the AI to do that. All right, let's um, let's fix up our problems from the last fight, which I made four million mistakes on. That fight was relatively smooth, but uh, the one before this was just slightly ugly. Oh, by the way, um, Enish and Verser are people from the chat. I do have these three lovely default names for the humans if anybody wants to claim one. Okay, so we're going to have to take this uh, this node or this one. There is a shop there. And I think I'm probably going to go back to the shop. 117 scrap. We really want to get hacking if we can. Intruders on board. How interesting. Um, let's just do this. To soften them up a bit. Turn off my oxygen so that charges a little bit faster. Or decharges. Uncharges? Mm. They'll eventually fight me in my med bay, which I should probably turn on. They're trying to get into the door room. Okay, I messed up slightly here. Um... That's okay. Wait, what's... Oh, my oxygen's... I... <laughs> yeah, I turned it off. <laughs> right? It's like, dude, where's my oxygen? I did that for a reason. I told you I'm sleepy, man. Making, making mistakes. Somehow the game's not punishing me for it, but... Uh, it could have gone slightly, slightly more poorly there. By the way, you can heal extra dudes by doing this. I'm sure you guys probably know that, but it's a neat little trick. Technically, you're supposed to only be able to fit four guys or three guys in the med bay. How's our repair experience? Um, we want to feed that to Versaire here. You didn't know that? You have learned something today. It's easier to pull off with um, if you're pausing over and over, but you can kind of micro it. The game is kind of funny in in the way that it um figures out where your guys are allowed to go because if i okay so if i put i put these four guys here and i pause right you'll see that it turns the little squares green and even though they're not in that room that room is considered full so if i try to take uh grozoli over here and pop him there you know what happens i'm clicking i'm clicking nothing's happening because he just says oh well there's dudes heading there therefore you uh that means i can't get there which um personally i've i've kind of found to be Slightly annoying when I was first uh, learning the game uh, because I, it's not really the behavior that I expected. Um, and I would like send people to rooms and then wonder why they weren't going there. You know, I thought it would like they would try to go to the next most adjacent room or something, but uh, no, no such luck. And that's also why you're able to do that because you like put them in the room and then you just you just click in a room that's sort of nearby, you know, and have them dance. Had issues where I didn't understand why they ignore my crew orders. Yeah, that's probably what was happening, man. Alrighty, we are safe to jump into this asteroid field and then into the store. Wait a minute, what what's happening here? I don't have my I don't have my shields charged. Whoops. Alrighty, so we got the Zoltan shield, man. Have I mentioned that I hate fighting the Zoltan? Uh, I don't think it, I think I was told that it doesn't matter what I beam, uh, when they, when they have Zoltan shield, it just, uh, kind of hits, it's not per room. Actually, we're totally safe here. Uh, well, we're almost totally safe. The asteroid field makes it, makes it not totally safe. Wait a minute, which beam is that? Does that go through one shield? Super shield should be in the Geneva Convention. Yeah, it's, it's uh, it's unfair. Unfair war, war tactics. Okay, that is two, two shots, not one. I lied, we're not safe at all. 
So we'll cloak so that misses. Um, Asteroids really did me a favor, a real solid cutting down their Zoltan shield. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to fire on this. <laughs> oh, I just got memed. Did you guys see what just happened there? I uh, An asteroid was right there and I shot and it hit the asteroid instead of their ship. That's really something. They only have two dudes on the ship. We could get a crew kill. I just, I'm worried about basically getting owned. Wow, we did way more damage than I intended. Due to the fact that a asteroid broke down their shields. Anyway, uh, I just realized their thing's down, so why don't we mind control and have them fight a bit. Now, they do have a cloning bay. Sometimes the FTL gods are cruel. It's true. That wasn't so bad, though, to be honest. Okay. We're going to try for the breach bomb. I know that I can kill them if I just land a breach bomb right on top of their guy. And I tell you, it's worth it. One missile is worth one crew kill. Based. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Oh, I should have seen that, because I, I killed the um, shields, and so the asteroid came in and blew up the ship. Um, I should have waited until he was in a different room. Uh, that was relatively unlikely. I mean, it, the asteroid had to hit at that exact moment for me to get robbed of the um, of the crew kill, but it did. <laughs> yeah, the breach bomb killed their shields entirely. It's a really sick uh, weapon, by the way. Three, three system damage is quite a lot. This is my first time using it, so it's, uh, that's my excuse for why I'm using it a little bit uh, goofily. Goofily? Is that a word? Alright, we are in a store and we have hacking. I don't think we're going to turn down hacking today. Small bomb. Yeah, prepaid. I think you told me small bomb was your favorite, but I tell you, uh, breach bomb 2 is really... <laughs> it's growing on me, man. Uh, small bomb's cool because the required power is only one, but getting that guaranteed breach is just outrageous. Just for charge time. Ah, true. I'm not going to double up on my bomb situation today, though. We need, like, a... I think my favorite, uh, probably the best thing we could ask for is either Burst Laser 2 or Flak 1 in this location here. So we'll kind of hold out for that. We're going to pick up the hacking. Use some of these 19 drones. We're in a really good place, man. Like the ship, it may not look like much, but we're, we're in a good spot. I think. I think so anyway. Um, Hull Laser 2 is kind of like a really janky ghetto version of, um, of Burst Laser 2. It's essentially Burst Laser 2, but it's a heavy laser and it, and it charges, uh, it takes more time to charge and it costs more power. Burst Laser 2 costs power 2, right? Or is it power 3? I don't remember. Um, so it's bad in almost every single way. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not exactly desperate and we wouldn't be able to use it right now anyway. And the dual laser is really good, it's just I'm, I'm starting to have problems getting through shields is the thing. Um... So I can see where this is going to become an issue. But we've always got the Breach Bomb to bail us out, I suppose. I'm trying to figure out what our priority right now is. Um, probably some fuel. Probably some repairs. I like to go to 20. Did you know that there are many ways that you can help support this channel? Read about them on rosecrypto.com support. At Rose Crypto, you can learn all about cool things like the Brave Web Browser, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.